Hi everyone! Today I'll be showing you how to do a color change on fashion sketches. In the last tutorial, I showed you three ways to select objects of the same fill color in order to be able to recolor those objects all at the same time, saving you a lot of time. So today I'm going to show you how to apply those three methods to these fashion sketches. And make sure to watch till the end because I'll be discussing an important issue that might come up with a third method, recolor artwork panel, and what to do about it. So let's get started. So as you can see here, I have a color blocked sweater and skirt. So as you can see, just within these sketches alone, the colors are repeated multiple times. You see that this gray color here also exists in the skirt, and the white color exists in both garments as well. The light gray color exists on the back, and it's shown on the front view in the inside back. And this really dark charcoal color appears in multiple places on your fashion sketch. So that's why you really need to know how to select objects of the same color to recolor them at the same time because you really don't want to be choosing each one and recoloring piece by piece. That's going to take you a long time and nobody has time for that. So let's apply our three methods that we learned in the previous video to our fashion sketch. The first method is the magic wand tool. So we're going to start with this medium gray color and as you can see it selected that gray color in the sweater and in the skirt and I'm going to make that into this orchid color here. Okay, so now let's pick our next main color. We want to pick a color to replace this dark charcoal color. Now, I kind of like this contrast that we have going here, but I want to just make it a little bit more subtle. So first, let's select anything that is in this dark charcoal color. And you see it selected all these parts, so that's a real time saver. So I'm going to go with this lighter charcoal that has a little tint of purple in here. So it's like a grayish purplish color and that's more what I wanted to go for. So now we have to change this gray color in the back because the tone of this gray does not go with this purplish grayish color here. So I'm selecting on that light gray and I'm going to change that to a light pink color to go a little bit more with the orchid. Now it's a color blocked style, so I'm purposely choosing different colors to go on this garment. This is the kind of look that I'm going for. And the last thing that we need to change is this white color. Um, I still want a really light color here, but I think I'm gonna go with an ivory color instead of the white. And there we have our first colorway using the magic wand method. And that was pretty quick. So let's move this over and then we're gonna copy it over and let's use our second method to make a second colorway. So the second method is select same fill color. So before we can recolor this second set here, because you have all of these colors in the first set, what you need to do in this case is you're gonna need to lock the first colorway. So you drag over it with your selection tool and you'll do object lock selection, or you can use the keyboard shortcut control too. And that locks these garments so that you're not selecting them at the same time that you're selecting these. Now that's one thing that you needed to see, which is different from the previous tutorial. In the previous tutorial, we didn't have this issue. But when you're working with fashion sketches and creating multiple colorways, this is often the case. So all you have to do is lock your first objects in order to not recolor them. So now we can use our second method to recolor this second colorway. So we're gonna take our white arrow, our direct selection tool, and click on the orchid color. And then you'll go up to select same fill color. And as you can see, it selected the other part of this set that is in the orchid color. And I'm going to change that to this turquoise color. And now I'm going to select on my purplish charcoal color here and do select same fill color. And it selects all of that same color and I'm changing that to a teal color. And now I'm going to change this pink color. So select any part that's the light pink and do select same fill color. And I'm changing it to this grayish light blue color here. And I'm going to keep the ivory. I think I'll keep the ivory on all the colorways. And I'm saving my work because you really should be saving your work frequently. You'd be surprised how many people wind up losing their work 
Illustrator does crash sometimes, especially when you're working with big files and lots of prints and patterns on your page. So make sure that you're saving your work. It only takes a second. And if you're doing that periodically, you'll make sure that you never lose your work. So let's move on to the third method. Let's copy this over. Selecting, holding down Alt Shift and dragging with my mouse. And I'm going to again, drag over this second set to lock it and do object lock or control two. So now these are all locked and I'm not going to select any of those colors. So we're going to make our third colorway using our third method, which is the recolor artwork method. So as you know, from the previous video, we're going to take our black selection tool, select over all the objects that you want to change, go up to the control panel and hit this recolor artwork tool here that will pull up the recolor artwork panel. So this shows you two columns here. The first column being your current colors and the second column will be your new colors or the colors that you're turning these initial colors into. So the ivory color I'm going to keep. So I'm going to start by then clicking on this turk color and clicking on this box to pull up my color picker, but I'm actually going to go into my color swatches and I'm going to make this third colorway into a neutral colorway. In fashion design, we make a lot of fashion colors, but we almost always include some neutral colorways also. So I'm going to use this camel type color or a tan. And as you can see, it recolored everything that was in the turk color and made it into the tan color so now i'm going to click on the teal double clicking on my box here going into my color swatches and i'm going to make that into a medium brown color and now i'm going to take this grayish bluish color that i have on the back of the garment and i'm going to make that into another neutral now just to remind you you can also change the color by playing with the RGB values. But since I already had picked my colors before, I'm just gonna choose from the color swatches. So I'll double click on the new box, go into my color swatches, and I'm gonna go with this lighter beige color to complement the tan that's in the front. And now I have my neutral colorway. The black color I'm not going to change because that's the black that's in the outlines. So it's that quick and easy to make all my colorways. So now I can unlock these and just make sure to align these sketches. And I have a nice fashion presentation with three different colorways of my color blocked garments using the three methods that I showed you in the previous video. So earlier I said I would show you an important issue that might arise with the third method, recolor artwork. What you need to know is that when you choose a color to change on the recolor artwork panel, it will change this color whether it's a fill or a stroke. Unlike the second method, select same, you can't specify if you only want to change the fill or the stroke. Everything that is in the selected color will change. So make sure you're okay with that if you choose to use this method. If you need to be specific about which one you're changing, it's better to stick with the second method. Select same and choose fill or stroke. One particular instance in which this can cause a problem is when you're using both black strokes and black fills on the same object. This is likely to occur on a fashion sketch because of the fact that you will almost always have black strokes for your outlines and detail lines. So when you use recolor artwork to change your black fill, you might wind up changing your black strokes to another color accidentally. As you can see, this is what happens on this sketch here. Because I used the same black on my outlines and on my fills, recolor artwork changed everything to the berry color. And if you do this with a dark color especially, you might not even notice until later and you'll have to spend time changing your stroke colors back to black. This is a big time waster and it's not something that you want to happen. So the best way to ensure that this doesn't happen is to make sure that you always use a different black color for your strokes and for your fills. For me in particular, I like to use this default black color for my strokes. It's an RGB value of 35, 31, 32, which is not a true black. It's a little bit more faded. 
And when I need to use a black fill, I use a true pitch black, which is an RGB value of 000. I prefer to use the true black for the fill because it just looks better when you fill in a garment with this darker black as opposed to the more faded black. And the more faded black is good enough for outlines and detail lines. See how when I use recolor artwork now, it gives me two different black colors here. And I know that this one is my outline black color. So I don't change this one. And when I change the true black color, it changes the fill color without changing the outlines. And that's really the best way to make sure you don't have a problem with this issue. And I don't really want to use this berry color. So let's get rid of that. Unlock our first set here. And just for fun, we'll do a couple more colorways. And just want to remind you that if you're liking this video, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave any questions that you have in the comments below. And there we've got a whole new color palette that we did in no time by knowing how to select objects of the same color in Adobe Illustrator. And that's how you apply it to fashion sketches. So hope you found this video useful and I'll see you next time. Thanks guys.